Hello everyone, my name is Sabrina Romero with Sabrina Romero Hypnosis. I'm a certified clinical and transpersonal intuitive hypnotherapist. Today I wanted to talk about one of my services that I offer. It is called Mirror Reflection Therapy. I have some people that ask me about this service, so I wanted to clarify a little bit about what's offered in this service. It is usually an hour-long session. Um, and it is pretty much you staying awake. I do not do hypnosis in this session. I do not do an induction, but we do have a moment where I tell you to close your eyes and reflect. So let me explain what that uh, service really means and what it does and what I do in that service with my client. Mirror reflection is pretty much helping you see a reflection of yourself in a different perspective. I help you come out of the whatever emotion or core issue it is that is at hand and see yourself from the outside in. So it's almost like seeing yourself in a third person. So how do I do that? Well, the first thing that I do is we end up mentioning the issue at hand, whether it's a psychosomatic, uh, emotional issue that comes up for you. We go ahead and mention that issue and then discuss it and describe it. Then on number two, we reflect on that and the moment of who I am and what I do. And we clarify that a little bit and talk about the question of who I am. And if you have a hard time answering that question, then we take some time to really understand who you are. Now, some people, when I ask them that question, they'll say, well, I have a master's degree, I'm successful, I have a car, I have a house, I have children. And then I look back at them and I go, no, I don't mean the external part of you. I mean the internal part, who I am. Answer that question. And some of them have a really hard time answering that because no one ever really told them to go inward and really find out who they are. And some people, when they come to me, they kind of lost themselves. So they can't really describe who they are. And so finally, towards the end, we get to a point where they finally know who they are. And that person might say, I'm strong. I am a powerful being. I'm intelligent. I'm driven. I have love. I'm a person that has a lot of enthusiasm. I have inner child life within me, then we find out that that's who they really are. And then we work with that. With the other aspect of what I do is based on who I am, what is it that you are being? Are you just doing something just because you're doing it because society tells you to do it or because your significant partner told you to do it? Or are you doing something because it's genuinely something that comes from your heart? It's generally passion or something that truly drives you. So those are the things that we reflect on. And then we go to the next part and it's, a so, it's more of a moment of self-reflection of the past, present and future events that have happened. And when we start to do this, usually triggers or a release tends to happen, emotional release. So as we're talking about past, present, and future self, a lot of things can come up based on events that you mention. So now we're going back and we're kind of seeing your timeline of your life, your achievements, the things that you regret, the things that you have gone through that might have been a little dark in your life. And then we come to the future aspect. What would that future self look like after we've looked at the past, present, and now the future. And so a lot of emotion tends to come up because things trigger you, like memories and events. And that's where we start to dig in. Then we acknowledge, we take a moment and acknowledge those triggers and that emotional release. And we talk about them in depth. We really do because a lot of people, they never get an opportunity to talk about their emotions. Maybe never in their life they got an opportunity talk about it. They were told that being emotional was weak or it made you vulnerable. 
And so here, for us, vulnerability and expressing your emotion is strength. Because in order for you to get to the point of revealing what it is you need to do to move forward in your life, you have to confront this emotion. You have to be in a vulnerable place so that you can come up, release this, and have awareness. And in this moment, you're awake. I'm not putting you under hypnosis like I mentioned before. So I'm in front of you and we're talking. Um, I do all my sessions online, so most likely it's going to be over Zoom, the internet. And so we're talking about these issues. And then the next step, we find the core issue of the emotion that came up and we go into depth. We discuss it and we tend to describe what's going on and how, if in any way, that is part of a pattern in your life that you have had throughout many years. And so now we, we come to a point of awareness and most likely it creates clarity. Now the client tends to have a moment of, hmm, I understand now, or wow, it's clear to me now why that has happened in my life or why I have been attracting people that I really don't want to be with relationships or people that are toxic in your life or people that come from your family that are constantly on your back or asking you for things or not making your life any easier. Then you start to realize that these are patterns and that you have allowed to be created in your life. So now this brings awareness and now you start to see where you can change that pattern so you don't keep repeating it. And so that's where some of that awareness comes in. Then we start to work on an action plan that leads to what I do. Now that you have the awareness and the clarity, we sit down and go, what do I do now? Now that I have awareness of any patterns that have come up or where, where this is constantly hindering me or stagnating me or stopping me from moving forward, what do I need to do? And so we start to really process that information at that moment. Then I go to the next step. And that step is I conclude with the client of their future self. So I take a moment and I help them visualize who they are in the future. What does that look like? Now that you don't have these patterns or these issues anymore, and how does that empower you? And pretty much when we get to that point, they see their light. They see their empowered selves. They see themselves succeeding, moving forward, feeling happier, feeling lighter, feeling wonderful. They see themselves a completely different individual. And that's the best feeling because now they understand they have the work, they know what they need to do, and they're looking forward to that future person, that future self. Then the next step is I provide them with homework. And that homework is to help them stay on that path, to stay consistent, to keep doing what they need to do to get to that future aspect of themselves that they described when we were in this session, that they saw right there, seeing everything that they would be doing, saying, acting, achieving. So that's pretty much what we give the client after. The last step is now the client has awareness. They are totally empowered. They know how they need to now move forward in their journey. And it allows them to really move in such a way that they feel very strong about who they are. They feel confident. Now they have clarity as to how they need to move forward and not allow themselves to stagnate or get stuck or feel sad or depressed or anxious about any situation any longer. And that's what mirror reflection is. That service is so powerful. I have had a couple of clients that have done that and it has completely shifted and changed their lives. They have gone from staying in a house to completely moving to a new area and getting a new job and completely empowering themselves 
to creating manifestation in their lives of success, of, of prosperity, and not only that, but now they're confident. And they have this sense of awareness and clarity as to how they need to move forward. And yes, there is some emotional releasement, and that's always healthy during that session. And so when they do have that, they feel better. And so towards the end of the session, they leave with so much to think about, so much excitement for what the future holds for them. So pretty much in this service, what I did is I had allowed them to step out and see the emotion that was playing out in their life, which caused that core issue. And so now they're able to step out and actually take a moment to observe and find out what is it about this issue that triggers me, that is constantly hindering me from moving forward. And the moment that they realize that they are able to control their emotion, to control the patterns, to control their ability to move forward, now they feel empowered. Now they know that they can move forward as they see that mirror reflection and go, I don't need to be that person anymore. I can be this person that has been reflecting to me from the future that is a much better, a more empowered, strong self. And so that's pretty much what mirror reflection does. It's truly empowering for the client and it's exciting for me. It excites me to watch my client move forward and to feel completely empowered. And that's usually a tool that they take with them from here on and use for any other thing in their life. I just lead them through the process. I guide them, we sit together, we look at the pattern. Sometimes when a person is in such an emotional state, they really don't take the time to step back and look at their patterns because they're in the emotion. And sometimes somebody just needs some help to just have someone listen and look outside their box and be able to say, hey, this is what I noticed. What do you think about this? Does this resonate with you? And then as we sit down and I guide you in a safe and comfortable way with lots of respect, because this is literally sacred work for me, then they're able to say, you know what? yeah, I see this, I see that, I understand what's happening. And of course, I bring in love as well, because I know that it is a very important part of their life. It's a shift into a different part of a journey that they're about to embark. Because we have many options. You have paths. You can go into this path that's probably going to cause you more suffering and pain, or you can choose a path that, yes, will take work, but it will cause you happiness and joy and will empower you. So you have to choose which path do you want to go on. And if you can have someone that can help guide you and help you kind of realize that and give you a little bit of awareness, then I would be happy to help you. So if you're interested in the mirror reflection therapy service, you can reach me on my website at www.sabrinaromerohypnosis.com and click in the appointments link and put in your appointment for the service that you want to do and I would be more than happy to help guide you through that. Also, if you have any comments or questions about this video, please allow them to be loving and positive. You can post them in my YouTube underneath uh, my video or you can go into my contact us page and send me some questions um, if you have any regarding this service and I'd be happy to answer them in the best way possible. So again, thank you so much for being here with me and hopefully I'll see you in the future. Much love to each and every one of you.